Hi everybody, Jo here again. How are you doing? Hope you're keeping well and I hope you're having a good week. Did you have a good weekend? I hope so. We all, we all need a good weekend, don't we? Nice time to relax. Um, maybe take five minutes out. Enjoy a bit of time outside. It's just getting nice to just sit and have a coffee outside now. Or you could have a brew and a cheeky biscuit, of course. <laughs> Can't wait for summer, I must admit. Now, I'm coming in this week with another design using this beautiful decorative tape that Lavinia have brought out and I couldn't resist this one. I mean, these dancing mice are just adorable. So this is today's design. This is what I've come up with. And obviously, as always, we've got our matching envelope. Again, stamped up in my VersaFine Claire inks so that that's permanent ink. Just in case it rains, we don't want the postman to get smudgy fingers and it annoy him, do we? So we've got our lovely card and envelope. And I just think these mice are just adorable and, and they just make me smile. And it's lovely to have a card. Don't you think at the minute that just makes you smile? I mean, I've put birthday wishes on this one, but I think this design you could use for so many different things. Such a, a lovely generic design. So I shall put this to one side and we shall start. And I'm just going to put it where I can keep an eye on it because you know me, I'm liable to wander off at a tangent and just do my own thing. Now we're going to start off with our um, multifarious card. Now Lavinia actually do packs of six by six. So I've got to be honest, that's perfect for me. Just saves me having to cut the card to size. So I'll have a piece, oh, got two. So I'll have a piece of that. And what I want to do to start off with is just give myself a bit of a guide where I want the tape. Now this is going on a seven by seven card and I just want to measure two and a half inches and give myself three points across the card and it doesn't matter about this line because this is going to be under the tape but I just want to give myself an idea sort of where the middle of the tape is going to be and then what we can do is start and do some stamping now again my stamps are stored in this beautiful Lavinia Stamps storage system look. But what I tend to do is actually take out the stamps that I need before I start so that I've actually got the folders on my desk with the stamps in that I need. So I shall take these two out. Just because for me, it's easier that way. I don't have a lot of space on my desk. So I shall take, but I'll tell you what, it saves losing any of these little stamps, these storage system, fabulous. If you've not got it, do look into it. So with our stamping, the first one we're going to use is this beautiful wildflower stamp. And I've got my block here. Now today, I'm not going to use black at all for stamping. What I did was I looked at my tape and I want the tape to be the guide with my colour tones. So I've got pine cone, which is a beautiful brown and I'm thinking that'll just go well with that tape. And I'm going to stamp this in the brown, but what I need to be mindful is I just want to be careful where the edge of my flower will be. So I just want a spare piece of copy paper to put here. And we'll start off. Can you see? You know what I'm like? I'm able to wander out of shots. So I want this one in the brown. And I'm going to stamp sort of here. And then ink up again. And turn my card round. Again, putting that there and stamping sort of here. 
it doesn't have to be totally symmetrical i don't want it to be exactly i just want the idea of um sort of an image above and below that's what i'm going off but i could do this second generation i have done a design oh it's quite a few months ago where i did first and second generation so this was almost like a reflection but this i just fancy them both first generation but again it's another design you can play around with so next we're coming in with this lovely lavender stamp and when I was looking at my colours, you know, I went for something a bit different. Um, I found I've got this Golden Meadow and I haven't used this very much in the Versafine Claire. So that's the colour. I'm just going to move my tape over there. That's the colour we're going to go for. It's quite nice looking. I try and order a different colour Versafine Claire every time I put an order in and then hopefully that way i'm going to build up my collection of colors it's quite funny because the pad on this is quite green so it's a lovely sort of almost greeny yellow and we're going to go for a first generation and a second and the same thing we'll turn this round and we'll link up and again first second and I'm sort of not stamping them straight. I want them to look a bit sort of wild, meadowy. So I'm just angling a little look. So first, second. I'm not overthinking it. <laughs> Maybe I just don't fancy overthinking. And then we'll pop that one back in its little packet. And we'll come in with the orchard grass. Now obviously this is such a lovely wispy stamp. Now, I could have used um, the field grass, the larger one, but I just want this smaller image. And I'm going for Shady Lady, sorry, Shady Lane. I've got to behave on YouTube. I've got to call her a proper name. So we'll just add Shady Lane. And again, I think we'll do a bit of sort of first and second generation. And I like the second generation at the edge. Just almost is lighter at the edge and almost fuzzies that edge a little. So again, we'll have first and second and let's have a look how that's that's looking nice isn't it so we'll do the same this side and again we'll just come in with first and second and with this being such a wispy stamp it's a lovely stamp that you can over stamp it over other florals now this, I think I'm actually going to add an extra because this is the one at the top and I just fancy adding an extra first there and second there. I told you I can't stick to a design. So again, we'll give that a wipe and put that over there. Try and tidy up as I'm going along and we'll give both those a bit of a blot. And then we can have a look how this is building up. So I think that just is looking so pretty, isn't it, already? But then for the mice, I love these. So I've chosen two of them. And I think if I'm right, I've got Tango and... Now I'm not sure if it's Mo. We're going to call her Mo. If she isn't Mo, she is now. And we'll stick with the brown ink. We'll stick with this lovely uh, pine cone. So let's have a look. So which one? And I'm thinking they just look lovely as though they're just hanging on. So if we stamp our first one at the top first and then have less chance of smudging and leaning on the image. Well, let's ink her up. And then I just want her... So let me get my little bit of kitchen roll to lean on. And I just want her so she's sort of, she's swinging. These to me are my sort of, you know, like you see them in the cornfield, swinging on the corn. Yeah, lovely. And I just thought they looked so pretty. But they just make me smile. Just think of them being little field mice, as I say, in a, in a field full of poppies and... I think you're going to go. Let's have a look. So sorry, I may just get my head over. 
just because I want to get him so he's actually got his hand. There we go. Yes, so he's actually just looks like he's actually swinging off that flower. And then I think we'll add our sentiment. And this is the heartfelt verses. And again, we're going to go for, should we go for birthday wishes? Just for you might be nice for this one. I always like to mix it up a bit. Now again, just let me check what, because my mouse is quite near the top. Just let me check I have got room. Oh yeah, and that just fits in lovely there. Again, so important to use your acetate. There's nothing worse than stamping it and then thinking, why didn't I check? So again, I'm sorry my head may just come in. And let's just put the just for you there. So it just fits nicely where the arm is. That's just lovely, I like that. And once again, we'll give that a bit of a blot just to make sure that that's all nice and dry before we bring in those finishing tricks. It's a lovely, almost quick and easy design, this. And again, I actually stamped the envelope as I was stamping my original. And I just want to bring in a little bit of ink, just almost here, just to give a bit of a hint. It's one of those things, you won't necessarily notice it, but if I didn't, I'd notice it was missing. I'm just going to dab some ink off on the lid. And then sort of just in this area. So I'm just gently tickling the card, circular motions. Now remember, the tape will cover some of this. So if it's a bit heavy to start off with, at least it's under where the tape is. And then I'm just going to bring it up into the design, just so it's not a sort of transparent. And that's why it's important to blot it. Again, lovely light touch, circular motions. Just need a little bit more there. And if I just... Let's put the lid on that. If I just bring that up to the camera, can you see... It just makes it sort of look less transparent. So I, I, I like that. Again, these little finishing touches. Now, let's bring in our chalk pastel pencils. Just going to move. Now here, and I just want to find myself, I've got a little, a little nib. Now I'm going to come in with instead of white on for a sort of light to my highlight on my, my lovely mice, I'm going to come in with this sort of almost light browny colour because again my mice are brown and I just think it won't look as stark as the, as the white. So I'm just going to give my mice, just sort of reinforce the shape and again as always I'll just smudge it with my finger. And again, you take your time and build up. Just look, just I think the shape just looks nicer, doesn't it? So under the chin here, and then under little armpits here. Oh, got a six pack this one, look. Hmm. Bit of shape on, on the legs. And again, just smudge it to fix it, because it is a pastel pencil. Now you can use your white if you want, and um, I like that colour. Now for the poppies, because I want to make these look a bit more like poppies. So I'm going to come in with my red and just add over the brown some red. Now again, I could smudge this with my finger, but I've just got a little um, blending nib. So I'm going to use this to smudge it. But again, um, you could use a biodegradable cotton bud. Or as I say, you can use your finger. And I'll add some to this as well. Just that little bit of colour, I think, just, just makes it pop a little. But you can leave yours if you're happy. And 
and I'm not being, you will spend longer than me. But I think that, if I bring that up, you can see, just makes it pop a little bit more. We'll put those to one side. And my little nib, I don't want to lose that. And I've got one of the Signo pens here, the white one. And we'll just add a few little, little touches. So just at the top of our lettering. And then we're just going to add a few little. I don't want too many. Just a few highlights with this. And for me, I don't want to overcook it. Maybe a little bit on the, the grass. And then here... Oh, I know, just on his tail there. Little nose, his ear. And then on the flowers. And a couple on the grass. And this builds up very quickly. Again, if you're into your batch card making, this will be lovely to batch card make. And um, leave without a sentiment. And now for the tape. I mean, look at this. Fabulous. I think it's 50 metres. It's an awful lot. Do check. And there are so many different designs. Now, you can cut it. I like to tear it. It's wonderful to tear. And I'm just going to put mine. I'm going to use my grid. I know I've got my line there. So I'm going to use my grid as well. She says, and we'll just put it, and this is why we didn't stamp the, we just covered the base of the, because again, to a certain extent, you've got a little bit of a wiggle room look, but I want this one higher, so I won't be able to see the mouse there, but I want this one higher, so let me see. If I line that up there, just down a smidge, yep. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. That's lined up both sides and I've nothing peeping down. And I, yeah, I'm happy with that. And I quite like it because it's off center. I didn't want it to be totally, I'm just funny that way. And that's the design finished. If you want to add a little bit of glitter, you can, a little bit of stickles. And in fact, for this one, I'm going to bring in my finished one so you can see that's the finished design, but I'm just thinking, I'm thinking about just going a bit off piste. Let's add a little bit of our liquid pearls to this one. And this one's prickly pear. It's lovely. So just to be different. Now, what you have to watch with liquid pearls are a bit naughty. Between you and me, and don't tell anyone, they suffer from wind. So you have to be careful. Sometimes when you first use them, they can have a bit of wind and spit at your card. So if it was me, I would always test it on your mat so that it doesn't spit. And once you've done that first testing, you'll be okay. So let's wipe that up and just bring Mr. Inky Binky in. And then with the liquid pearls, the best thing to do is pop it on your card and lift it straight up. And that way you get a lovely dome. And almost do it quite quickly. So we'll just add a few of these where the grasses are. Just randomly. Yes, I like that. And we'll do the same on the base. And again, I'm being mindful down straight up. And almost the quicker you do it, don't think about it. I think we need another one there. There we go. And that will dry in a most beautiful dome. And that's all there is to it. And I'll bring this one a little bit closer, just so you can see those perfect pearls, look, in those domes. And they will dry lovely and hard, so it's all right to post. But it just gives it another dimension. And if I just pop it on top of this one, look, you can see what it will look like with that lovely sort of burgundy colour behind. Because I just think that enhances the colour of those poppies. You could go brown if you wanted to go with the mice. So I'll pop that one there. So I hope you enjoyed that. 
I hope you get some of this decorative tape. Honestly, I know I used it last week and I'm using a different one this week because I just adore it. I think there's so much you can do with it. It's great on gift tags. So wrap your envelope, uh, your parcels up with it. Use the tape as tape and then maybe add some on your gift tag. And also add some on your card. And I need to just pop a little envelope on here too because I think that is so cute. As always, it's difficult fitting everything on. <laughs> I think I need more room. Now, how many of us say that? We need more room, bigger craft room, bigger craft desk. <laughs> oh, and then we can buy more things. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining me as always. Take care, everybody. It's so lovely spending time with you. Until next time, you take care. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.